Welcome to the broadcast and our cell language interpreter tonight is Meresha Owiti. Tonight, it's relief for besieged businessman and politician Jimmy Wanjigi after a Nairobi court ordered the police to stop hunting him for purposes of arresting or detailing him. The police have been camping at his home for the, for the past two, two days and our reporter Chebet Birir has that story. It has been a harrowing two days for Jimmy Wanjigi and his family members. Just before they broke down the door, they assaulted me. I think three or three officers dragged me to the floor, kicked me, punched me, and put me in handcuffs um, for no reason. They said I was trying to grab a gun, but I obviously wasn't. Um, now, once they broke down the door, they entered. Uh, inside was my sister, my mother, and my grandmother. Uh, they told them to lay down on their stomachs flat. They, I believe, kicked my sister in the head and uh, also my grandmother, uh, also my mother, sorry. A few hours later... Uh, you've told them everything? Told them everything. Uh -huh. The businessman got a reprieve after the High Court issued orders barring the DCI from arresting Jimmy Wanjigi. Following the order, Wanjigi emerged from his house, which acts as his bunker, to speak out against the move by police to camp outside his house. Why are you harming people's children just because of expressing their political will and direction and expressing themselves as per Article 37, the right to demonstrate? Wanjigi also accused the police of planting evidence against him to show that he funded the Nane Nane protests organized by the Gen Z. The businessman father said it was not wrong for anyone to demonstrate against what he called bad governance. You then come after taking an inventory in the night, you come again in the morning, Muna plant vitu, I love you say take another inventory. You are here, you search the whole place, you found nothing. Then you now come to say two hours later, Muma Bata Vitu Zingine. Planting things, same script as seven years ago, where you tried to plant some things in, a, in my residence in uh, Malindi to say I have guns. Come on, please. We are not children anymore. Face up to reality. Kama umeshindu anakazi, you can kindly exit that job. That's what some of us are asking. You have failed, William Ruto. This is not the first time Wanjigi finds himself on the wrong side of the police. Police have on several occasions broken into his house in a bid to arrest him. Chebet Birir, KTN News, Nairobi. Thank you, Birir, for that. Meanwhile, two more members.